Hello and welcome you guys to the One Piece Chapter 1097 Spoilers. So, the title of the chapter is Ginny. So this chapter may revolve around Ginny. We may see Ginny in action in this chapter. First bullet point of chapter says, that the king of the Sorbet Kingdom placed a huge tax on citizens to pay tribute to the world government. He divided the country into two parts to reduce the tribute. One part became under the protection of the kingdom and the world government, while the other part became outlaw. So, our hero Kuma was part of that lawless section. It is more likely similar to what we have seen from Luffy Kingdom means Goa Kingdom. In Goa Kingdom one half we have higher status people who live inside that great wall, who are visited by those punk celestial dragons. And outside the wall we have people of Grey Terminal, Mountain Bandits. We were certain that Kuma wasn't the Tyrant King. It seems like the king who's in charge now is the one. The world government might have portrayed Kuma to be Tyrant King. We know that Kuma was a nature-loving person who admired Sun God Nika, the one who grant freedom to everyone. How could be possible that Kuma is a bad guy? Next bullet point which is wild. It says that the freedom fighter, led by Dragon and Ivankov, attacked the kingdom of Sorbet and overthrew the tyrant king. At that time, Kuma joined the freedom fighter. In chapter 1066, we learn that initially, the army led by Dragon was called the freedom fighters. Then it changed to revolutionary army we know currently. So, Dragon is here to save Sorbet Kingdom 1 because of Ivankov who has some connection with it. And he was here to recruit more people like Kuma and Ivankov's sister Ginny. Or it may be dragon no hardships of living in a country that's been divided by the status, where people are not treated equally. We can also relate this with our real world, where people are not treated equally on status basis. Next bullet point will put an end to a theory which is going in one piece community for long, that says dragon used to be a marine. So, it says that dragon was a marine in the past, but he left after learning that there was no justice there. How did Dragon realize that the world government was unjust in not giving fair justice? One we already know which is O'Hara Genocide, but at that time he already created Freedom Fighter. So, it may have happened prior to O'Hara incident. So, it may be possible that Dragon might have witnessed what happened at God Valley. How the Celestial Dragon treated the people like slaves and they even kill people for their entertainment purpose. And all this happened in the presence of Marines. And that where he got to know about Holly Knights. In which he has only show 9 but in chapter 1096 we can see 12 silhouettes. It could be possible that 3 of the Holly Knights might have died during that God Valley incident only 9 remains. Next bullet point says that 14 years ago, Kuma and Ginny were commanders in the Revolutionary Army. So finally, Ginny makes up her mind and ended up following Kuma and she was one of the higher rank members of the Revolutionary Army. Last bullet point says that at end of the chapter, Dragon receives news of Ginny's kidnapping. Now, the question arises, who could have taken her? It seems likely that the world government is behind this, considering she's a revolutionary and has ties with Kuma. So to free Ginny from world government, Kuma might have agreed to their demands and end up working for them. So, friends I have good news that we don't have any break next week which might have made you happy. Before you leave, don't forget to thank Oda-sensei, the creator, for giving us continuous chapters. That's for the today's video see you guys in next video.